It's the JT Cho Show! Hilarious. Welcome back to the JT Show Show. I'm your host, JT. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's early on. It's everything that I've asked it to be except for a good day of golf. And just when... Just when I started to record my podcast, more people started the mow. But have no fear. We're going to power through this for the 77th episode of the JT Show Show. Now I've got a nice little summertime drink here. And my little mule mug. Uh... First of all, let's talk about golf. We're going to talk about golf right off the ripper. How exciting has it been? Kepka, uh, DeChambeau, a little rivalry, a little Twitter joust, and then you got Tom Brady paired up with your boy Phil, who just just won a major at 50 years old. You know, what a crazy story! Led the whole weekend. Kepka was missing short putts on Sunday. But it was an exciting day for golf. The, the Phil was mobbing the crowds, okay? Uh, but you got Phil, Tom Brady pairing up with DeChambeau, Mr. Long Drive, and Aaron Rodgers. And Kepka got on Twitter and he was like, oh, shit, sorry Aaron Rodgers. And then DeChambeau's like, hey, I'm glad I live rent-free in your head. And then, he, and then Kepka replied with a video of someone calling DeChambeau Brooksy and DeChambeau said whoever said that should just get out of here man but man there's all this chirping back and forth and there's the high hopes that those two will be matched together for uh, the Ryder Cup so man golf is so exciting and, and watching Phil win this major now always been a Phil fan fellow lefty myself I, I inspire to hit more bombs because Phil hits bombs. Longest drive, 366 yards after Kepka hit a 361-yard drive. Fucking bombs, dude. And Phil messed up a couple times. And during the third day, there were times where he dropped. But other people around him were also making mistakes. So there were room for, there was room for error. But day four... You just felt it. All Phil had to do was just play par golf, and he wasn't worried, and he was still taking nice shots and nice risks and uh, risks. And uh, he was just dominating. He was just. It was so. It was so good to see Phil, and you know that now that Tiger Woods, you know the oldest major winner. Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods is like, I gotta have that record. So, I don't know what stem cell surgery or what millionaire underground Nike doctors that you have, but Tiger Woods will be back, and Tiger Woods will win another major. I, I think that Tiger Woods, once he's back, will win a major within his first six majors of playing after he comes back. That's a bold move, Cotton. But, yeah, seeing Phil dominate, uh, Ricky Fowler had a, a better time. He's Ricky Fowler has really been on the rough the, the, the rough road lately. He, uh, he's, one of, he's personally one of my favorite guys to watch. He's a crowd favorite. Um, but I really do like Ricky Fowler. I like Bubba Watson. Uh, DeChambeau's all right. Kepka's all right. I uh, hate Patrick Reed just like everybody else. Uh, huge Tiger fan. Huge Phil fan. Uh, John Daly. I mean, he's just... He's what you want to be as a golfer. Look at that mullet. It's, it's Maybe it's the mullet. Maybe I need to grow the mullet out. If, if having a mullet would increase my golf would lower my golf score significantly 
I'd be looking like Mr. Freedom 24 7 365. God, that fucking mower in the background, so annoying. No, it's, it's whatever. Um, but golf has been so exciting. Tom Brady, who's in the celebrity golf, you know, he's in the celebrity golf uh, tournament. He was making memes. Tom Brady was making memes about the Kepka Deshambo situation. Uh, he made memes when Deshambo was walking behind Kepka and Kepka was rolling his eyes and it was like Kepka was Aaron Rodgers and then Deshambo's said the Packers went down by seven and they kick a field goal. <laughs> like me, Tom Brady, making memes. Like he was trolling. <sighs> and Tom Brady, you love him or you hate him. That's some classic work from Tom Brady, you know? About golf. Just talking shit. Making memes about an entire NFL organization. <laughs> Hilarious. He's, you, you can't deny that that's not funny. That's 100% funny. And I, and I like Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Phil came in. You know, Phil had the chirp a little bit. He goes, hey, looks like I'm stepping in between something here. Like, he's talking about Kepka and uh, DeShambo. But, you know, they want a current PGA champion. You know, you know, champion PGA. And so I was like, oh, fuck. Phil's like, fuck y'all. <laughs> Hilarious, you know. They want Tiger, usually. But, uh, you know, Tiger's out. So, you know, Phil fucking hammering that shit talking. Hilarious too funny but celebrity golf uh is what it is but that, that'll be nationally broadcasted so looking forward to that as well so that's that's coming up but the all right so we had some technical difficulties uh hopefully my laptop doesn't do it again if so you'll see the camera angle pushed back some uh it's i mean it's it's not very warm it's yeah it's in direct sunlight but honestly it's not overbearing. It's kind of like a small overcast. But anyways, we'll we'll move on. We'll strive on. Uh, the Nintendo Switch is adding a ton of new games. I know I've been talking about this, but I I I'm in the middle of still beating Cyberpunk. Just ran a couple more missions back. Kind of got into the group of that again. So trying to beat cyberpunk because I need to beat that campaign and just scrap it to the side just be like look I beat it okay cool move on to some other games there's a lot more campaigns that I want to play uh, but I have to beat that but I, I pulled the old switch out and I started playing a link to the past and uh, I know I can waste my time on that if need be but you know, either this afternoon, I'm gonna I'm gonna post this podcast, and then I'll be. If, if you're if you're like, oh man, I'm the biggest JT Show Show fan ever, uh, and but I'm not subscribed to his Twitch for some reason. Uh, after this episode comes up, I'll probably be streaming. I might stream some Cyberpunk. Just like who cares if the music's? If I have to turn off the music, I'll just turn on the setting so I won't get flagged for copyright infringement or whatever happens i don't know where i go to jail uh but yeah i'll be streaming today for sure but yeah i i started playing a link to the past and it's it's not bad on the switch um but it was kind of weird that without really having to think i can maneuver through um i can maneuver through the sandcastle pretty well uh in the what it was it southwestern portion of the game, uh, oh man, a lot of memories are brought back for sure in that game. It's it's kind of it, it's kind of incredible how after all this time though, like it's still the same masterpiece that it always has been. Sometimes when you watch a movie. And you kind of don't want to see it again because you know if you see it again as an adult, it'll kind of ruin like how good the show actually was because you you remember the show as a child. So like, I was awesome, but you know now that you're 10 years older, you might play it and be like, this 
fucking sucks now, you know, like, but not this game, you know. Um, but yeah, that's, I'm really, I'm really impressed with the Switch lately. Uh, Skyward Sword's gonna be coming out for the Switch, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, that's the next Switch game that I'll probably buy. So yeah, I'll definitely be streaming that over on twitch.tv slash jcfjville. And you're like, you know, how do I get to all your links? I, I say it once a show. Head on over to www.jtfjville.com. And uh, you'll find all my links there, including my YouTube page. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I know what you're also wondering. Uh, you're like, hey, why isn't Earl here in this episode either? So, over the last week, uh, my right eye was so irritated, bloodshot, like, it, I was dealing with it for about a week, but I, I just, I didn't think it was pink eye because, you know, I don't begin dookie in my eye. That's two people were like, you got poo-poo in your eye? And I was like, no, I don't got poo-poo in my eye. Like, did your dog fart on your pillow? And then you slept on your pillow. Did Thor fart in your face? And is this how you got pink eye? Eating ass. No, uh, but they would just... I was like, no, I don't know, man. So I got some special eye drops for it. And then I got... Uh, you know, it was still pretty strained. So, uh, I got a few days off of work for it, which was pretty neat. Uh, you know, because they thought it was pink eye. So, my eye specialist just said my, something allergic got into my eye, or my eye was having an allergic reaction to something. It was pretty terrible. Uh, she was jamming a fucking Q-tip in that bitch, too, man. I was like, chill. And she's like, I'm going to flip your eyelid inside out. And I was like, what? And I was like, ah. It was crazy, but yeah, she's just like, yeah, don't use what he's, don't use those eye drops. She's like, they're gonna do more harm than good, and I was like, this is crazy. He's a generic physician. Uh, no, it was just a matter of opinion, I guess. But yeah, so basically, I did finish Earl's website. Uh, you can head on over to Duke's Wells. Gross, and uh, I, I hate when your nails break. But yeah, uh, you can head on over to dukeswells.com. So we finished that website. Couldn't go off. Uh, we, you know, stayed socially distant, but, you know, we were watching golf together. Uh, you know, because of my eye. But yeah, uh, having that eye, we didn't want to be too close with each other, so we didn't do a podcast this weekend. So he does apologize. And I said, we'll blame it on the pink eye, but it ended up not being pink eye. So I don't know what to tell you. I'll just have to catch up with him further down the road in the future, which won't be a big deal because we hang out more often than not. Um, but, yeah, watching Phil win that championship was the greatest. Now, uh, other, other things that happened when... Uh, other things that happened... I got my ass kicked at bags recently, uh, cornhole. Uh, I, I shot well one night, but then the next day all that magic disappeared. So, out of the two days that I played bags, I got my ass kicked the second day. And part of my birthday present, I know my birthday is not until June, but I told my friends, like, hey, uh, you guys know a mutual acquaintance who makes cornhole boards, so could you ask him the price and whatever money you are going to give me because my parents so graciously still give me some a little bit of cheddar for my birthday. So can you just put it towards the board and tell me the difference? And so I paid him the price, and I got some Central Michigan University boards, fire up chips uh, for the alma mater. Got some new boards, came with new bags just got those today those are looking real nice and crispy so I'm gonna look forward to playing with those and probably losing on those uh, but really looking forward to be playing some cornhole on those boards this summer for sure uh, 
You may be wondering, because I just caught a glimpse of myself, you're like, man, you're looking pretty sharp. You know, I'm wearing a Tiger Woods golf polo, Nike, Tiger Woods hat, super comfortable hat, one of the most comfortable hats that I've ever had. And, uh, you know, it's got this, like, not full brim, it's only like a wraparound brim, that this part in the middles. Dude, it's a, it's a great hat. Still golf like shit. I'm making good contact. It's just, I'm unfamiliar with the course to the extent of I haven't been able to hit it with my new clubs. Usually 150 is a uh, 7. I was about, I don't know, 155, maybe 160. So I thought, well, I've been hitting it over. I'll hit it with an 8, and I still hit it over. I didn't drive it. It was a nice, lofty boy. My sand wedge, I did, I, I did have a good day with my sand wedge, so I'm more confident now in my sand wedge abilities. My drive's been subpar shaky this year, and my irons are, I'd say hit or miss, but I've either got to turn my hips or something. But for some reason, I wasn't hitting my irons very well. Hold on one second. Anyways, um, so maybe I'll go to the driving range, get hit some more balls, you know. Um, it's all on the board. It's all up front. But it's just just frustrating to, 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 to wear all this and golf like shit, you know. No, but it's just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating when you can't find a drive because people, the people that you golf with weren't paying attention and it's not like oh I hit it into the woods go find it like hey, I hit it down straight but it's probably in this like little patch of rough which way did it go I don't know man I lost it like how do you what do you mean you lost it you know like we're not even hitting to the sun but uh yeah that gets kind of annoying kind of annoying Um, what else is new that we want to talk about? I, I mean, like, I'm not really trying to drag on the show, but uh, we already got through golf. We already got through why Earl wasn't on. Um, fuck it, dude. Let's just call it a short show. Um, I know I, I usually like to keep these things a half hour, but... I'm out of topics right now, so uh, we're just going to cut her short today. We're just going to have a real short episode. Uh, hopefully you guys will tune back in for next week when I have more topics to talk about. Uh, but kind of just burn through everything, and it's okay. Sometimes that happens. So I love you guys. Hit that like, subscribe button, all that jazz, and y'all have yourself a blessed day. Bye.